would love to know. Anyone wants to jump in? Horatio, Kingston, Jamaica. Excellent day, Horatio. Welcome, sir. Great to Thank have you, you here, man. Thank you, as always. My pleasure, as always, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome, my Claudine Dunstan. Uh, I see we have an S. Empress Ali. Good afternoon, <laughs> Doc. Good afternoon, team. How are you? No, man, I'm being amazing and grateful. I'm very excited. The trading week begins. Well, it's going on in crypto, but the Forex side begins now. Mm -hmm. And I know it's going to get, you know, uh, we have, well, tomorrow is a U.S. banking holiday. Uh, so it will temper the indices a bit. But even with mm -hmm. that, we're still going to have a really great trading week. Um, yes. Really good trading week. Really, really, really great trading week. So oh, I'm oh, very excited. Very thrilled. Okay. very thrilled. I'm looking forward to a, a very wonderful week, and it's going to turn out to be a really wonderful month. Indeed. Awesome. All right. So um, I see we don't have any guests here yet, so I'll just go ahead and give you some information on, um, well, of course, you know, for those who may watch this video again, Dr. Harry Benjamin is the name. Extreme Effects Global Academy is our platform on top of which we build this community and um, we're building the wealth creation project which basically simply means we're helping people around the world to create wealth for themselves uh express empress ali welcome if you could put in the chat or unmute and tell us where you're calling from uh, that name is new so i assume this is your very first time hi empress ali how are you hi good day i'm fine thanks good evening i'm here in jamaica port more oh awesome is that your real name uh, Alicia, shortening for, well, Ali, Empress shortening for. Ali. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. So I was, I was mispronouncing it as Empress Ali rather than Empress Ali. I got it. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, That's Empress all right, though. Ali. Hey, That's great to it. have you here. Thank you. Have you ever traded before? Oh, no, I haven't. Okay, great. Well, we're going to show you a system um, that, those of us who have been in the process of learning how to trade, uh, it liberates you from exchanging your time for money. Uh, and it gives you the opportunity to earn much larger sums of money in a much shorter time frame. It's a skill set that one has to acquire, and it takes a little while to learn. Uh, some people learn it quickly. Some people take months to a, a little over a year to acquire the skill. But the bottom line is that once the skill is acquired, then your, your money worries go away, right? Because you now have direct access to money. Um, for lack of a better word, you have your own ATM machine linked to the world's financial markets. And your only limitation is just how big your dreams are, your aspirations are. And over time, you can extract as much money as is needed. But the skill set is definitely a supreme skill set that a lot of people are starting to become aware. It's something that we should definitely acquire. All right, Empress Ali? So welcome. All right, and I welcome everyone else who just joined. All right, so you could, you know, we generally recommend, uh, you know, I personally recommend, and a number of us recommend that we start off as an affiliate where you pay a little over $100 to get registered or $249 to get registered. And then you could earn 500 a month, 1,000, 2,000 and it climbs, all right? So I am a big advocate for this part of the plan. It allows you to self-finance your way. You could pay the first payment like I did, then get to work marketing the academy with us and then earn commissions and then use those commissions to buy various products and services to offer within the community. Uh, we have our health and wellness product line. We also have a travel website where people can book and get discounts on travel. And here is the packages. Entrepreneurial student, 18 and a month. Forex student, 19 and a month. And then Forex Nader buying us options, 159 a month. All right. And then the safety trade system, which we will emphasize today, this has cut down the learning curve. Without the safety trade system, I mean, trading is challenging. People have done well, uh, but sincerely, if you don't have a system like the trade, safety trade system, and this is only one of it in the world, if you do not have a system, and in fact, probably the safety, safety, safety trade system is, is the premier one, that people are starting to get to know that, you would have a tough time making money from trading, just being upfront. If you research it, you'll realize that about 99% of people who trade in the retail market of, of the financial markets, 
um, retail traders, mean people like myself and others here who trade, 99% of those people, Empress Alley, lose money. Now, those of us who have been using the safety trade, we have turned that around because the safety trade system gives us data that allows for the trades that we take. If you take them properly, follow the system that is in place, people are winning over 90% of their trades. And some people are starting to make money from trading after only three months, four months of using the system. Some people even in their first month have done that. Those are unique. And some people maybe take up to upwards of eight months to nine months a year to really master the system. But without the system, it's tough. Just telling you up front, right? So here is the whole um, idea of how simple the system is. I'm going to show you. It's a color-coded system. All right, let me collapse this pane at the bottom. So if we didn't have that pane at the bottom, we would have to do what's called marking up of the charts. We'd have to put in what I call support resistance lines, trend lines, use Fibonacci, and then try to predict which direction the market could go in. Now, with the safety trade system, with this system down here, it gives us a simple color-coded way of identifying when a trade will go down or when, a, when, when, a, when the market, rather, will be going down or when the market's going up. So to make money in trading is pretty simple. If you could predict uh, ahead of time that the market is going to go from down here to up here, you can make money. If you're going to predict that's going to go from up here to down here, you can make money. That's basically the simplicity of it. And you could make some money in between this point here to up here or this point here to down here. You could make money. All right. And a lot of us have been able to get to the point of being able to trade this consistently. And we are now making money from it. Okay, Empress Ali. And uh, let me just double check a list of okay participants. All right. So in simple terms, uh, Empress Ali, and I know others here have some level of experience. In simple terms, right here, right here, where it shows these this line at the bottom showing red, a bunch of green bars here, and then this red turning to green. Jump up to a slightly higher time frame. Yes. So this red turning to green would have been an up. It's not that's not a clear cut opportunity. Let me go and see if I could find a simpler one for you. All right. Okay, let's go back to all right, let's look at the buys. All right. So um go back to this. Let me go back to here. So what we're trying to figure out is it gonna is the is the market going to go down or is it going to go up? That's basically what we're trying to figure out. All right. Is it gonna go down or is it gonna go up? That's basically what we're trying to establish. And over here. Uh, we're seeing where the colors have li had lined up for us to predict that the market was going to go up, right? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's go to the 15-minute chart here. All right. But you learn all of this stuff. We have classes that you'll attend, videos that you're going to watch, and you'll be learning the language of trading and how all of that works, all right? So here, here, right here, right here, where my, 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 uh, let's put a vertical line so you could see this clearly. I'm going to put a vertical line right here, okay? So at the, down here, you could see that this is green, right? Where my hand is, okay, all the way to the bottom. Then there's red, and then this section here is green. When that lines up perfectly, when that lines up perfectly, along with the higher time frame, which is, this is 15 minutes, let's go to the 30 minute. The 30 minute also showing that this part is green. On the 30 minute time frame, we could go to the one hour as well, showing that that is green. So that's great. It's all lined up. If it's lined up like that, then 99% chance that this is going to go up if we have green down here, red here, and then green here. So let's remove the panel at the bottom. Without the panel at the bottom, we would have to guess if it's going to go down or going to go up using you know the older strategies. But with this panel at the bottom, with this panel at the bottom, let's go back to it again. Green, red, green, the market came down, but it went back up. Down here again, here's the same thing over here again. Green, all right, green, red, green, right? The market came down, but it went back up. Here's the same thing, this, this was red in this instance, so that wouldn't have been a good example. But here's another very good example of it. We're going back in time. Every time we see this pattern, green, red, green, look what happens. It was coming down, but it went back up. Here's another example of it, green, red, green, all right? Let me just go back and grab my line here and just show us the different ones. Here's, a, here's another one, up, right? Came down, went back up, all right? Here's another example of it. 
Okay, there's another example of it right here. Came back down, came down, but it went back up. So whenever we see that pattern, here's another uh, example, but the, this is red, so that, that's not a good example. But come down here, here's another example of it. Green at the bottom, a bundle of red here, green here, it was coming down, it went back up. Over here, we see the, the same um, thing again, right? was coming down slowly, but coming down on the list, and then it went back up. So every time we see that's called a setup, every time that happens, Empress Ali and others here, we can expect the market to turn back around. It came out down, green turned to red, but the higher time frames, we could have checked on that. Let's go to the 30 minute. We could have seen the 30 minute higher time frame was green, a bunch, a bunch of red, then green it was coming down and it went back up. So whenever we have that setup, that gives us the indication that um, we can take what's called a buy position. Buy position simply means that the market is here. We want it, to, we want, we're gonna to try to make some money when it goes back up. That's a buy position. A sell position is when it's all red and then the middle section is green, like right here, right? Let me just get grab my line again, my vertical line. And then here is where we could have taken what's called a sell position, right here, right here. So at the bottom, we could see, if we look, look clearly, we could see that there at the bottom of the line is red. And then there's a little box of green right here. And then this, which was green, we we're looking at it as green earlier. Now it's red. These two lines are red. So in that case, you'll be taking a position sell coming down and you'd make money from up here to down here. The unique thing about the market is that we can make money from the movement of the market. So as it's moving downward, you can make money when this lines up. So if we, if, we, if we do this again, get rid of our indicators at the bottom, we would have to guess, is it going to go down, is it going to go up? But with these indicators at the bottom here, then we are given a pattern that's called a setup that we can look for. Here's another one over here. Again, oh, this one is not uh, perfect because the bottom here is green. Drop this to the 15 minute chart, right? And look for, look for a vertical line. And then it shows us nicely, right? Uh, red, green, red, all right? You know, so every time we see that setup, ladies and gentlemen, you could expect the market to go down. Here's another example of it again. Um, this one wasn't such a big move, all right? So that's the simplicity of the setup. So if we just simply follow that setup, if we simply follow that setup, every time we see the setup, we take a position on any asset, right? along with the setup, along with a, what's called a higher time frame confirmation. So let's say you saw it on the lower time frame, and I know Empress Ali, you're new to trading, you wonder what is the time frame stuff. I'm just drop, dropping down here, this little uh, drop down menu. You can see these the one minute going all the way down to um, one day and that's at, even monthly, okay? But we're looking at this simply from the standpoint of um, just identifying the pattern. The pattern is the key thing, right? Once we have that pattern, then we can expect that either an upward movement or a downward movement. And then you'll have some training on how to identify that. Now, in terms of uh, going into uh, an Empress Alley, I'm going to, just for the purposes of those who are already have the system, a number of people on here already have it. We're going into the beginning of the trading week here, right? So let's just go here and look at what's go what we can anticipate, all right? What, what, what can we anticipate, all right? What can we anticipate? Let's jump up to the 15 minute. I'm on the 15 minute time frame, all right? So on the 15 minute time frame, coming out of Friday, coming out of Friday, and we're not going into Sunday night, Monday, all right? So we're beginning the Monday trading week in Asia and Japan, in Australia, it's Monday morning, right? And they're going to be trading and then that drives the market. So we could see that on the 15 minute time frame, you know, this, the, the, this has pretty much been going mostly sideways. There was some downward and upward movement on Friday, but it wasn't conclusively going up or down, right? You know, just based on my understanding and, you know, just to, just to pay attention to that, the market didn't create a new high on, fr on Friday, right? This, this in here was, this was Thursday. Right, so Thursday, 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 Friday began. And then if you notice the high up here, which this high was on Thursday, right, January 11th, and then it came down, came down, way down to here, and it came back up. All right, that was still Thursday. 
And then it went kind of sideways, came down a bit, went up, but it did not create a new high on, on Friday. So basically, the market has been going sideways and not going either up or down. So we have to be a little bit um, mindful, you know, that it could, it could, you know, break in an upward direction, but it could also turn back and come back down. Okay, and there's no clear indication as to which direction it's going to go in. So we'll have to give it some time uh, to start to show us what direction it's going to go in. Now, while it's doing that, you know, while it's doing that, it has set you know, in place a higher time frame. It's got our four-hour chart. It's got our four-hour chart. We see that it's been buying up on what's called a four-hour chart. See, it sold off a bit, but it's been buying up, right? So if it, if it breaks this high, if it breaks Thursday's high, you know, and it comes and closes above here, we could expect it to continue to go up. But then if we look at Thursday's low, which is, is down here, and if it comes down below that and closes below that, we could anticipate it probably continuing in a downward direction. So we're going to have to wait to see how it behaves. Now, while it is doing all of that, we already have some indication as to what to expect. Four hour chart is still showing that it's continuing to go up. Right, and then if we look at the um, the daily chart, it's got the daily chart. If we're looking at the daily chart. You could see the daily. It came down into the daily channel here between this yellow line and green line. That's the daily channel, and it bought up from here, but it did not break the the highest uh, the, the, the the high that it sold off from. Okay, so we have to be a bit mindful of that. So as we go into today, then we could start to look at what the lower time frames are showing. So let's drop to the one minute. And then that's going to start to give us, in the, in a, in a, from a one minute time frame, what we probably anticipate. Right now it's showing a sell because it's red, green, red. That's how it ended on Friday. Uh, on the one minute chart, it ended that on Friday with a one, with a quick one minute sell. You could see on the one minute, you know, there's a slight push down. Okay, so we could get a little bit of a sell. Let's check the three minute chart. And the three minute buck is red. This is red. Let's check the five minute chart. See what that's showing us. Uh, let's go to the five minute and the five minute is showing us the box is red as well. So it did sell off a bit and came down here and let's check the 15 minute. Now on the 15 minute chart, it's not a sell. It's a potential buy that's being set up. So what I think is happening is that on lower time frames, one minute and the five minute, three minute, you could get a little selling, but nothing big, right? You could get a little selling, nothing big. With that, you're going to also have some buying because there definitely are on the higher time frames. There is, um, you know, buying pressure going on. So we could see the market go up and, you know, and challenge this high up here because it's a banking holiday going into tomorrow. I do not expect any great, any big time moves on the indices, um, you know, in terms of vast moves. There's no news folders tomorrow, Monday. We have news folders on Tuesday coming up. In fact, we have news folders on Tuesday. We have three of them. 2 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Canadian US, um, red folder, 8.30 a.m. U.S. dollar red folder on Tuesdays. And then we have a uh, red folder on Wednesdays, Thursday, and, well, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we're going to have a pretty busy week this week. And if you use those red folders correctly, you can make a good chunk of money this week um, from the red folders that are happening. All right? Remember to find your red folders. You go to forexfactor.com, look for them for the week, write them down, or Make a note, put some alarms in your phone to remind you of when those red folders are coming up so that you can take advantage of them. So let, looking at NAS, now when we look at SPX, it's going to probably show the same thing, pretty much showing us that. You look at US 30 showing us that. US 30 is, is um, showing us slight, what time frame is this? On the 15 minute, right? Showing a, a sell there. Go to the one hour. One hour is showing us a, um, a, a buy, right? One hour four hour, let's check the four hour chart to see where it is. It's come below the four hour channel, right? It's come below the four hour channel and set up for a four hour buy. So, you know, US 30 is setting up us for um, a major buy, right? Because the four hour, these four hour buys, when they kick in, they kick in hard, right? Let's check the daily channel one day. It's it's the US 30, this, this distance from here to here, it may want to come down to the daily channel. So we have to pay attention to that. If it comes down into this daily channel, you can you can expect a big buy coming out of this. So pay attention to that, right? US 30 is here, right? And if it comes down into this daily channel, it would be really wonderful if it did. Right now, if we go to the, going back to the 15 minute chart, 
You could see that on the 15 minute chart, it's setting up for a sell, right? You could see that it's setting up for a sell, red, red, red. So if it comes back above here, it could come down as it has been doing, right? It has been doing. Uh, let's go down to the five minute chart, right? On US 30, five minute chart, you could see that set up for sell. It sold off from here, red, green, red, right? When it came up, red, green, red sold down on the five minute. It did the same thing here, it did the same thing here, right? Let's go down to the three minute chart, right? You could see that this is nice to set up for sales, right? So you would have sales going on on the lower time frames, driving it down, possibly driving it down to the daily channel, right? So US 30 could sell down, come down into this daily channel. Now, here's the thing, US 30 starts to push down like this into the daily channel, it could drag down with it, NAS and S&P to come down with it. But then bear in mind that S&P, uh, S&P's, let's check S&P daily, it's way up here. S&P's up here, the daily channel is down here. So there's definitely room for it to come down. Let's check NAS. Let's check NAS. NAS is way up here, the daily channel is down here. So chances are, chances are, what I would be looking to have happen with what I just looked on on US 30, you know, showing that US 30 wants to sell down, right? You know, what I would anticipate is that we're going to see some pulling back or selling off of NAS and S&P, right, um, to, today into Monday, possibly Tuesday. And with the news, if it sells off and comes down into the daily channel before the news on Tuesday, then we could expect a big buy-up, right, with the news and the market open on Tuesday. If it comes down tonight, tomorrow, if it comes down into these daily channels. So that would be great if they did that. Now, how, do, how would you be able to take advantage of it? They're doing that. If they're doing that, all you have to do is come down to your one-minute time frame and look at your one-minute time frame and see what, what is it telling you. What is your one-minute and five-minute and three-minute time frames telling you? All right, right here now, on the one-minute time frame on NAS, it's a sell. Red, green, red. It's a nice little sell. So jump in for a sell. When the market opens up, take the sell. It may come down and, and drive way down. It may come. You know, if you if you have the account open two, open two, close one with five to ten pips, change the second one, stop loss to entry. But right now, this is a nice opportunity for a sell. You can put your entry here, and your stop loss would go a little bit above here, right? Just above here, right? Just in case it reverses on you. Your stop loss could do, go just above this hook right here. Oops. Right? Just above this hook. So this is a nice setup on the one minute time frame um, for NAS 100. Let's see, see, we'll go back to US 30. US 30 was also showing us that it was already selling, but a little bit more pullback would be great if it pulled back above the channel to go back down, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, and then there is S&P, right? S&P, right? S&P is also setting up a one minute sell. So if we look at what's happening, we could see the market on the indices starting to sell down. And if they do, where are they headed? You know, they're gonna wanna make their way to the daily channel. Okay, and set up four hour daily buy stops. That's what I anticipate is happening, all right? And you know, just pay attention to what's going on in your one minute. One minute right now uh, is supported. Let me check the three minute. Three minute is also setting up, right? For a, a sell later. And then let's check the five minute. Five minute are also setting up for a sell, right? So we could see one minute, three minute, five minute sells on the on NAS and SPX. And on US 30, we already have that. We already have that clear. Let's check 15 minutes on US 30. Right, nice. Right, nice. They set up fast sell as well. See, right? So if we could have some pullback, what looks like a buy, but it's really going to be a pullback to come up here and set up a sell. So we're going to have that up and down movement today into tonight, into tomorrow. And I, that's my expectation. That's what I believe is going to happen. We'll see how it unfolds, but that's my expectation and that's, what I'm gonna be looking out for. So I'm not gonna to be too aggressive on the buys um, tonight to tomorrow. I'm gonna to be looking for some sales going down, right? Right now, US 30 is above its one minute blue line. NAS 100 is way above its one minute blue line. So we could expect it to come back down there. SPX is way above its one minute blue line. Let's go to our handy dandy scanner, right? That will give us some data, right? So the scanner right here is showing us um, okay. Yes, we make sure I'm on the one minute. Go back to my one minute. I wasn't on one minute chart. All right, that was five minutes. Okay. All right, one minute chart here, SPX. 
right? It's below its blue line. NAS is slightly above its blue line. US 30 is way below its one minute blue line, okay? All right, so going back to our scanner, our scanner is showing us that right now NAS is the one that should be coming down because it's the, third, the other two are below their one minute blue line. We can anticipate that NAS will probably follow them and come down below its one minute blue line. Let's go back to this. Where is NAS again? NAS was pretty close to its blue line, right? Not too far from it, so we could anticipate that NAS will come back down. And it, that is in alignment now with green, red, green. So you can you see how we have so much data to give us confluencing factors? One, this is showing you red, green, red, right? Go to your scanner, right? The US 30 is below its one minute blue line. SPX is below its one minute blue line. So therefore the third one is most likely gonna make its way to go where? Below its one minute blue line. So that gives you additional data to support taking a cell position going towards the blue line or possibly, you know, continuing a trend down with what we could expect coming into tonight, into tomorrow, right? So I'm, I'm pretty optimistic that we're going to have some bearish uh, movement uh, with the indices um, tonight, tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, I'm anticipating that's when we'll probably see some bias, right? That's, that's the way I'm looking at it, you know. Um, all right, let's go back now to the scanner. All right, and we'll look at the five minute, right? Now, US 30 is below its five minute line. So if, if you see either NAS or SPX change on this, on this scanner to red, on the five minute, expect the third one to follow suit. If you see the 15 minute, one of these change red, you can start to look for the other two to change as well. So that's how you, that's how you should use this particular scanner. And then we have the other scanner Right, which we're paying only $75 a month for. Here we have your USD one minute sell stop that the system is calling out for us. So if we were to go over here and go here and just click on, what are these lines here? Let me get rid of them. Um, yeah, click on your USD here, one minute sell stop, red, green, red. So how, you know, how beautiful is this? The system sends you a message before the market is even open fully, because the market is not yet fully open. It's open, but the volume is usually quite low right now. Right? So we wouldn't necessarily take a trade right now. But yes, you could see that this is this is starting to move. You could see the candle moving right here. And then this is a sell stop. So our expectation is for this to come from to, to make its way down. Right? You could see, you know, there's a little bit of pullback here, but we're anticipating that the market is going to go down and the system call it out. Here is the scanner. The scanner says, your USD one minute sell stop. And there are some other assets being called out. Your USD, GBP USD, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Several other assets being called out uh, here by the system. So the system sends you a message to tell you or tells you, guess what? Your USD is now set up for a one minute sell. And see it's coming, see it was, it should be shut up. We were looking at it a while ago and see it's coming back down now. So you, you should be looking to take a sell position, either the red line or the yellow line here. You know, if, if, you, if we are taking it here, then we would have already been in a little bit of profit, okay? And we could expect it to probably go down some more, right? This is the market just opening up. So this is already a win. There's several winning trades that the scanner calls out, but I'm just showing us this New example. Trade alert. New so the trade system alert. here is, is just amazing. See, it's still going down some more. So... I wouldn't put the trade in now because what is called a spread is going to be too high. And, you know, the market is, the volume in the market is not that high right now uh, for you to easily win this trade. And you'd give it a couple of hours, maybe another two, three hours, and then the volume should be higher. The spreads might come down and the Asian-related assets like USD, JPY, RJPY, and so forth. Your USD, the spread might tighten. Um, tomorrow, you know, not a big trading day, but you could still make money trading, even though the United States banks are going to be closed. Uh, assets like US 30, NAS, and S&P, they're going to close early. I think they're going to close about 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock. So you could get some trading between tonight and tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock out of the indices. We're going to close down early and then reopen um, in the evening to begin trading on Tuesday. So guys, see, selling down more, what a nice little win that is, right? But as I said, the spread... For me, the spread is too narrow to take too wide, sir. You know, if you do not know what the spread is, don't worry about it. Um, Empress Ali, I know, I know you, 
you know, some of this might be a little bit over, you know, over your head for now, but you'll catch up. I promise you that. The system is pretty simple to use after a while, after learning. So here's this tip, Tracy, some calling out another one, catch CHA, you know, just calling out several assets that it calls out for us and tells us, you know, go ahead and look for that particular one. So this is truly an amazing system that we have truly an exciting time for us. Nice winning trade here. Uh, how many points is that? Um, that was 0.8. All right, so far almost one point, our pip. But it, it pulled back up here. And when it pulled back up here, uh, if, if, you know, during normally, it went, when it was what you guys saw, some of you guys saw on the green candle shot up, if I was taking a trade when it shot up, I'd have put my entry closer to here when it went up to here, and you'd have been able to make even more. Okay? You'd have been able to be at almost two pips, two points right there already. $10 per pip, that would have been an easy $20 right there. Easy, easy $20, right? From here to here. <laughs> okay. All right. So just exciting, right? See, there's another pullback up and I shot down. So this this expect to continue to go down some more. Um, you know, as we push into the rest of this evening. All right. So nice, nice, nice call out by the system. Um, and by the way, when it calls the mode, you should jump to your five minute, which anticipated the five minute would have been a sell. Here it is. Jump to the 15 minute. Nice setup for more sells. The one hour, let's check the one hour time frame. Um, you know, later on, I might see some buyback, right? On the one hour time frame. New and then I had a lot of time frames, you have some quick sells, some quick sells, right? All right, any questions from anyone? Anybody has any questions for me? Anybody at all? Go ahead, Dr. Hugh. You're unmuted. Do you have a question, sir? It's a nice little cell. Red, green, red. The system call it out. You can see that the traders are winning trade. All right, let's go again and look at the scanner. Odd CAD. Let's go and look for it. New safety trade alert. A U D C A D. All right, this is on the one minute. Let's go down here. All right, so so this, it's above here, right? Above the trade line, all right? Above the trade line, and the system is even calling it out um, early for us. We'd, we'd expect we're soon going to see a green bar right here. So, red, green, red. So this is a nice call out. All right, let's check the five minute. All right, five minutes is in support of that. So this is a nice call out by the system, right? So if the market spread was good, I would put in my entry. First, I'd put my entry like here. Now that it's pushed up some more, I'd drag my entry to here, and I'll wait for it to turn around and come back. So that's the, that's, that's the power of that, all right? And this is odd CHF, right? Sorry, odd CAD. Australian dollar Canadian. So the system call that out for us right here. And it's calling on Euro GBP, New Zealand dollar CHF. So we have, in other words, you have an abundance of assets to trade. And the system is calling them out and giving them, giving us an opportunity to trade them. All right. So wonderful, wonderful times for us, for those who are who are participating with us. Just a wonderful, wonderful time. And uh, it's a great, great season for you to come and participate in, in, in our community, trade with us, come let's make some money together. It's gonna to be a really wonderful, wonderful 2024. It's gonna be really wonderful for those who have the safety trade system and have learned how to use it. A very, very wonderful time we're gonna have. All right, any questions from anyone else before we run off? All right, we'll go to Naz here. Let's see if Naz is starting to move yet. Question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the classes. Are they only online or do we do you also have face-to-face -face classes in different areas? Okay, great. Thank you, Empress Ali. We have a live, thank you for asking. We have a live session coming up. Um, let me try and see if I can. Bring it up. Is Bridget on? Uh, New safety no. trade alert. But um, trade alert. I'm going to try to show you the flyer part. You're in Jamaica, right? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> you, you you are in one of those very fortunate spots right now. 
where we'll have a live uh, event coming up, live Zoom event coming up, right? The 27th. Not, 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 not event, not Zoom, sorry, a live physical event coming up, right? Okay. Um, let me see if I can find it, a flyer. New safety trade alert. New safety trade alert. Um, blah, blah, blah. Might be in here. This is our prayer group, but um, I, I don't have the, the instrument as I have it on the boot camp. Yeah, the boot camp. Who has the flyer? I could give you a co host to share the flyer for me so that um, who could share the flyer for us? Is there anybody in here on? Who has it? Who has it? That could just help me to share the flyer. Who has who has the flyer on your phone? That could give you um, co-host to share. Um, Devatan, do you have the flyer on your phone that you could share it and show her? Uh, Empress, who invited you to be here today? Actually, I got this link from Bridget uh, over a week ago. Oh, so you know Bridget? Okay, so Bridget is the Bridget is our our main leader one of the she's one of the top leaders in our company globally right around the world uh she a uh, very outstanding lady uh and she spearheaded the boot camp so there's a live physical two-day event where you're gonna a master trader one of the one of the three educators in extreme who is a master trader he's traveling to jamaica he's gonna be there for about a week and you you could um, one, uh, have some the time to go to the boot camp, take, you know, buy the ticket, go to the boot camp, learn all you need to learn. You know, uh, you, you definitely benefit greatly from attending the boot camp as opposed to um, only doing the classes online. Right? Those who go to boot camps, they end up way ahead of people who do not go. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. People who go to the boot camps, they make a lot more um, progress faster. Um, in fact, you know, our first year of extreme, two ladies that went to all the boot camps that year, the two of them earned about a million dollars. Those those are two of our biggest success stories in our company's history. One million US dollars in a year. So the boot camp pays off. All right. So make sure you attend. Oh, here's Bridget. Bridget, <laughs> make sure you attend. Empress Ali, who's your friend, she wants to know about um attending the boot camp, right? So, um, so please go ahead and be at the boot camp, uh, Empress Ali, and Bridget is online. Bridget, if you could share the flyer now, or maybe you already push, just send it to her. Um, and everybody else who's able to fly to Jamaica, be, to, be in Jamaica, be there for the boot camp, 27 January. Absolutely. Tracy dropped it in the chat. Thank you so much, Tracy. Um, we have such a great team. Um, we are one team, one dream. So Tracy went ahead and dropped it. Um, right, Empress yeah. Ali. I know that's Alicia, my, my name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, the, and, and for Thank everybody you, on the line, you are so welcome. Thank you, Dr. B, for um, for, for letting me share. And, and, and again, you're so right. In the years of this industry, the boot camps, the conventions, these things is where you get personal experiences. It's not on Zoom. It's not in personal you feel the feeling for yourself. You see it. You look in people's eyes. You feel people's energy. You ask your questions. You you feel the culture. And it it makes an impact on you to know that you're in a community that is for you. And it, it aligns with what you want and that you can get support. So there's, there's so much more to a boot camp than the content. So I'm excited to have it. It's going to be amazing. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be at the Jamaica Conference Center. We're still pinning that up because... Um, we're looking for, you know, a location that is going to suit most people, you know, and, and be best for the event. Um, and um, it is currently, the price for it is 250 US, well worth it. Um, it's a $5,000 value event. Um, and just because of good business relations and God's good favor, we're able to pull off this event for such a low fee. We do have an early bird special an early bird special and a late bird special. So if you really get a payment in very early this week, today, tomorrow, Tuesday, you can secure the $195 deal. Um, otherwise it's 250 US. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's gonna be two days. It's Saturday all day, 8.30 in the morning till 5.30. Um, we're gonna go through 
everything. Um, the tip I would give anyone attending is if you are already a trader, make sure you understand some basic principles of support and resistance, how to draw Fibonacci and engulfing candle. Although we're going to go over those things, if you can really understand them before, you'll be able to follow along yeah, and assimilate quicker. Um, and then we're going to go into lots of activities, practice, practical, uh, uh, have the students practically do what we just taught. We're going to carry that into Sunday. We're going to teach a, a strategy for people who don't have time. There are a lot of people who say, boy, I don't have the time. We're going to teach strategies, fundamental strategies, nice and simple to look at the week. And of course, we're going to demonstrate our safety trade technology. So the boot camp will be just everything about trading. And then once you understand that you can hone this skill, using our safe trading technology is a game changer now because now without the six, seven, eight, ten years, safe to trade alert, you get the <laughs> shortcut to success. <laughs> you don't have to spend an hour, two hours, three hours on a chart manually, but guess what? The boot camp will make sure you understand how. And it's important to understand because your eyes see it differently, even when using safety trade. So um, safety trade is simply a tool that accelerates your trading knowledge and skill, and it makes you trade like a pro without the six, seven years under your belt. You know, you safety trade trademark. Ooh, Dr. B. Uh, safety <laughs> You this literally is... get <laughs> you get on the... fire. I know, right? You get the you get the you get the answers. You get to actually get the tangible results because of this amazing tool. So we love it. It works perfectly together. You get the education, but then you have this tool to collapse time for you to give you maximum results without the years of um, training. So it's really a learn and earn environment where you're earning while you're developing this skill um so i love it and i look forward to hosting anyone who will come we're going to do a live trading session in new york on monday morning those of you who are traveling make sure to book your flights to monday afternoon and if you have work well you won't go to work at the day, that day <laughs> we're going to do trading in the morning and um and um skip tuesday and wednesday we have a grand finale with a showcase of our entire community offering and all the ways for entrepreneurship and some options that people can have to build income in 2024 i will close off with the asian session we will trade and get additional education um on wednesday night in the asian market um from that we're going from seven to ten so Full week, we call it Wealth Week, and we look forward to hosting every and everybody. People are flying in already from Trinidad, Barbados, Florida. People are driving in from the Grill, Ocho Rios, Portland, Mandeville. It is really something, and people have seen the value, and they're making themselves available. I encourage everybody else to hop on board and get registered and pay your registration to secure your seat. Once we lock the room, we won't be able to accommodate um, standing room, so you have to get a seat. And so register before the seats run out. All right. That's all I have. Thank you, Dr. B. It's going to be awesome. See you guys there. Yes, 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 yes. Going to be awesome. I agree with you. Wholeheartedly on that. All right. Thank you very much, Ms. Butler, for updating us. And um, tomorrow, 4 p.m., Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, sorry, and Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern on the link, uh, we will have safety trade presentations, plus the company has other presentations. Uh, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, and other leaders have other presentations happening uh, to continue to help us to build the community and take advantage of the other services. So a wonderful season ahead of us, guys. Let's go. Let's grow together. And let's make some serious money for 2024, all right? Trading is um, going to be heating up here in another hour. I think, you know, the market is going to get really warm, but it's already moving well. Like that trade that we just saw uh, on your USD. Um, so the market is already moving Right, so the market is already, already, already doing its thing. Right, market is already. Um, let me get this off of my screen. Oh, let me move this now. Minimize you. All right, great. Uh, you are yeah. So that trade one, that trade that was sorry, that one. All right, cool. All right, love you guys. See you tomorrow. All right, all the best. Uh, one love, Doctor B. Thank you. Thank you.